Hey guys, so I started in quite a peculiar place. Uh, I do accept that. But the reason for this is because today we will be setting up my rabbit's enclosure in my room. I do plan to free from her, but I have to litter train her first. So let's get to do that. <laughs> Here's my room. Um, now I just have to go in and check out my room. <laughs> Pretty dark and I'm gonna put that on the bed. I do have to clean this, but I think I want to give her this corner here. So this is my old rabbit food dish full of food. So I'll put this up here and get ready to prepare this corner. It's got some stuff in it. But anyways, ew, gross. Got a dead hand on my finger. Whatever. Let's get preparing this corner. So the whole reason for bringing this here is because I kind of have to block off the area where my bunny's going to be at. So she'll be getting this much of the room. So here, this is the area. It's a lion head, tiny lion head rabbit. So yeah, uh, let's keep setting it up. I need to use something to block this off so she can't is that place. Uh, I also need to give her a litter box. So let's get to doing that. So I will put a rug uh, on half of her place so that she gets like a rug area. No there. Oh gosh. So this is the rug that we'll be using. It's a little old but it'll get the job done. We don't need too much. Next, we just need some hidey houses. And I do have a playpen. Hello, bye bye. I do have a playpen, but I'm not going to be using that uh, because I do plan to free roam, not to keep it in a pen. But if whatever I do, free roaming does not work, I will put it back in the pen. But yeah, uh, so yeah, guys, it's pretty nice. Let's just put this rug, it's upside down, just for some friction, just so that my bunny can have some friction. Let's head off, that's where she will be. Now I need something to block it off, so let's go get that. So I actually want to have like a couple of hidey houses, so this is going to be a hidey house. And I think I'll use parts from these old cages to kind of block off that area. Um, so let's get to doing that. Uh, I think, I think I might be using this to block it off. Or this. This works, but it's rusty and old. <laughs> yeah, I don't use this anymore. It used to be a hamster cage. Uh, but I rehomed my hamster, so yeah. Because... I couldn't afford to own them any longer. But yeah, uh, I don't have the rabbit here yet. I'm just preparing everything. Oh gosh. That, that, that's, yeah. Okay, that was, yeah. I'm just going to be preparing everything beforehand. I kind of like having my stuff done beforehand because it's easier. Also, I like how this is wooden so my bunny can basically just nibble on this anytime. So, now I'll just need to clean this, but, hello, hover, that's pretty easy and can be done pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So, let's just take this, place it down, and let's clean this up right now. Turning my light on, basically like a vlog, basically. So, uh, this is pretty, um, I'm gonna use this. It's so dirty. But it can be easily cleaned for the purpose of having bunny. So I do plan to free roam, and since I do, I'm going to be gradually introducing her to parts, to different parts of my room, and eventually letting her free roam completely. So, bam. Now let's just take this home. Gosh, this is heavy. I'm just gonna take this 
into my room and put it in here so that I can free roam. So I was originally planning to use this to block this off, but I'm going to put the clear side to, towards the bunny because I don't want my bunny getting sick or anything from biting something. So. Oops, sorry I placed you guys there, but ta-da. Now I just want to put something in there that will kind of hold this back here. I don't want it falling over on the bunny, so I have this, and I'll be putting that in here off camera because it's heavy. So I know this is not a lot of space right now, but it is a small bunny and I do plan to free room, so let's get to finishing this setup before it takes too long. Also, excuse my nail polish. Ta-da, so this is basically already set up. Um, I just kind of need to block this off and that, and this is basically my bunny setup. Let's add a litter box and finish this up. So in the bloody litter box should be big enough for it to do a 360 degree turn if you should be or his litter box not named that. I think I'll be using this litter box, so this thing here. It wasn't a litter box. Also, this here. I use for my old hamsters that I don't have anymore. So I'll be using that for my rabbit because I know water bottles are worth. So I ended up going for this litter box, or to use this box as a litter box. It's going to be the wool, so I train it, and after that, I'll just be switching over to a plastic or place, because I do have some of those. Um, but I won't be using plastic yet until I fully litter box train her, or him. I found out it's a mayo. So I'm gonna name it Cottontail, either Cottontail or Snowball. So, that's something. Uh, so, the litter box will be placed over that corner. However, it has this gem here that I wanna finish making a dent, so I'll do that. Spider boy, hello spider boy. Are you a happy spooter boy? Hello. Ah! <laughs> I'm on the ground. Okay, it's a tiny scooter. But going into my rabbit's place, I think this is a little too big of a litter box, but we can work around with this for now. I'll put it against this so it can hold it. There. Okay, so I can kind of hold this in place. Cut off. There you go. It's holding that in place. Uh, I won't be adding any bedding right now. I think I will be taping that though, because it's a problem. So that's the litter box, it takes up most of the space, so I'm gonna try and get a smaller one. I'm actually trying to go see if you have any small uh, plastic containers. So let me see, any small plastic containers in here? No. See, this is what the litter box is gonna be if, once I litter box train it. But for now, it's just gonna have to work around this one. I think I'll use this one and I'll cut an indent into it. So let's do that. Bam. Now, I don't think I'll be cutting the indent right now because this is pretty shallow. So if the bunny can learn to jump in this, it's a pretty small bunny breed. But I will be upgrading the litter box and giving you guys. See, it's the same, it's slightly smaller. Not too small. I think that happened, okay. There you go, it's in the corner now. Uh, so that's gonna be the litter box area, so you can see the carpet for a little more texture, because my first, oh, did I squish the scooter? Is the scooter okay? Uh, I don't care right now. But I think this is where I'll be keeping the bunny supplies in this box, maybe. So let's go get the red. So I was originally gonna do play pen, but I'm gonna change that. Right, so now I'm just gonna, here's the play pen I was originally gonna put her in. It's pretty big, slightly bigger than the size of this place. That was gonna be her litter box originally, uh, but I changed my mind. So I'm just gonna take this as a Heidi house, this as a chewable toy, and this as our container, so let's just do that. Bam, we're here. Uh, so, 
I think I'll put the food over here. The Heidi House over here. Now, there's a slight problem with the Heidi, ha Heidi House location, so either I switch the litter box over, which I'm really considering. Uh, I think I'll switch it over to this corner. And, oh, hello, Spooter. Another Spooter. So many Spooters. <laughs> so that's where the litter box is gonna go. This is where the Heidi House is gonna go. And this is just like a platform, so I'm just gonna put that there for a different texture and a little more height to get up. Um, maybe I'll put, I'll use this for the food. I think I'll use that for the food. Switching it over to this side now. I think I'll put it this way, it's better. So now let's, uh, I don't know, <laughs> add water, I guess? No, let's wait. Let's just finish setting this up. So, the bunny's coming either tomorrow or on Saturday, so I want to set this up before she comes. Oh, the toy, I forgot. <laughs> So here we go. Let's bring more chew toys in. I said chew toys, but I think I'll be using this box as well. Because it's also cool. So let's go. So I think I'll switch this one up for this one. I think maybe that way. Because it has. Yeah, I'll put it this way. There. Ta-da, little hole there and here. So, there we go. Oh gosh, I squished a box. Right, now it's smushed. I don't know what I could use this for then. But, um, this is the setup for now. It has a door there, although it's pretty useless. But I want to give her a spacious, hidey house. I have this, I know I... Oh wait, this could be used later on, when the door's like taller, but this is a setup right now, pretty boring. So let's fill up the litter box with bedding, not um, anything else right now because the bunny, oh wait, should I use this food tray? I don't think so. I'll use it when she has more space, but let's go get the other thingy. I forgot what we were going to get. <laughs> right, bedding. <laughs> right. So I got the bedding. Let's put that in. And fluff it up. And then it'll just be the hay once the bunny arrives. So yeah guys, that was a pretty simple setup. I'm sorry it's not too much. Uh, we, in my country, we don't have too much products for bunnies or anything. And the pet care is really low, so this is actually a lot for the care we have here and where I live. Um, I live somewhere in Central America, so that, there's that. Um, that's the setup. This is like my bed, and that's where like I'll do unless she's fully groomed. Uh, or when I'm still trying to fully free room, I'll just put that to my bed and somewhere here. But that's the setup. That's my bike. That's the setup. And uh, I'll add more stuff later. But I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.